Hello and welcome to this week's first devotion taken from John chapter 10, verse 10 on this Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. So we continue our look at treasures old and treasures new, uh, looking at fam old familiar portions of scripture, also some not familiar portions of scripture. Today we're going to take a look at an older treasure, although we may not have this verse memorized, it comes from a very familiar portion of scripture. So let's get right into it. It's my pleasure to be here with you and to, to dig into God's word and see what it has to say to us. John chapter 10, verse 10, a thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. An interesting section of scripture that's laid out for us here. We are in the Good Shepherd portion of Scripture, John chapter 10. Uh, John or, um, Jesus starts out by saying that he is the door or the gate. Um, and, and that's kind of the first section up through about verse 10. And then it goes into Jesus says, I am the good shepherd and those wonderful, familiar, comforting portions of scripture uh, that are laid out for us in, in John chapter 10 and the wonderful, beautiful imagery that gives us. Uh, John chapter 10, verse 10 is an interesting verse. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. Jesus is talking about how we know him. Those who follow him know him. They know his voice. They follow his voice. Someone might come in and, and, and try to disrupt that. But the one who follows Jesus will know that because they say that, that they... These people don't, um, the, the, the thieves, so to speak, simply don't speak what Jesus speaks, obviously. It may be close, but it's not what Jesus says. And so he's saying, watch out for these people. The thief comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. That's not the purpose that Jesus has come. You know, we do enough in our lives to sabotage our own lives. We continuously sin. We continually see, go against God's will. We continuously go against his word. And yet, our God loves us enough not to give up on us. Not to say, I'm done with them and shove them off to the side. But to protect us from those enemies. A thief doesn't come to be your best friend. If you think of uh, your own house or whatever being robbed, that thief isn't coming to be your best friend. He isn't coming to chat you up when he's trying to steal the stuff that you have or she is trying to steal the stuff that you have. But it's really just to steal, if, if necessary, perhaps kill and destroy. Once again, seek, uh, translating that into our eternal lives, into our spiritual lives, the, the, the person that seeks to do harm isn't going to look out for your soul, isn't going to really care about you, but is simply going to come with a bulldozer and try to push you into believing what the devil, the world, and the sinful flesh want you to believe. Jesus says, I want none of that. That is not my purpose. That is not why I have come. No, I have come. I have come to give you life and to give you it to the full. And how does he do that? He does that through what he did for us. By coming and living that perfect life. I said earlier that we're good at sabotaging ourselves. Well, he takes all those sins and wipes them completely away. Gives us that confident hope of heaven. Gives us that uh, wonderful opportunity uh, and, and joy 
and hope to, to live with him and live with him to the fullest. And he didn't do it because you and I are so good at doing things. He did it because he loves us that much. He was willing to go and, and, and accomplish these things for us and, and give us that confident hope of heaven. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, listen to what the true word of God says. That God will love you no matter what. That he will give you what you need no matter what. That you, he will give you life through what he has done. He will give it to you to the full. And as the John chapter 10, if you would read on in that, you get that wonderful picture of, of, of Jesus as the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. Not running off when there's danger like perhaps a normal shepherd might, but actually laying down his life to save us. So that we may have life to the full. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, live in that life and live it to the full. How do we do that? We do that by living in Christ. Living to what he wants us to live. So do that. Live to the full. Why don't we go to God in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, we, we thank you for for sending your son, Jesus, to save us from our sins, to, to give us that confident hope of heaven that, that you know, we, we, we just have no other choice but to thank you by living a life that is pleasing to you. We ask that you motivate us to, to live that life and, and to, to continue to, to walk in your ways. Dear Heavenly Father, we also ask that you continue to slow the spread of the virus as you see fit. Uh, and we ask that you um, continue to, to heal our country physically, emotionally, mentally, but most importantly, spiritually. We ask all these things in Jesus, our Savior's name. Amen. Certainly want to thank you for listening to today's devotion. We'll be back probably on Friday to uh, share another portion of God's word with you. Until then, God be with you until we meet again. Blessings on your day.